Well, 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 what do we have here? We're back with another uh, level one DLC challenge. are uh, not the other ones. Last time we did uh, level 1 dead money. Today we're gonna attempt uh, level 2 honest hearts, which is the second uh, deal scene for New Vegas. Challenge is not a challenge if it's not drinking. That's why I got some black barrel Jameson. I haven't had anything to drink in uh, over a week. Yeah. I still wanna do uh, Fallout 4 uh, Bloom Calls. Because uh, that Far Harbor, uh, Far Harbor was so good. Have you uh, seen the Far Harbor in uh, Fallout 4 uh, Bloom Calls? Well, I'll do my best uh, when we're playing the last time that uh, I actually get to that point. It's actually pretty good. It's an expansion to Fallout 4 on a separate island. I played the hundred, streamed hundreds of hours on Fallout 4. Yeah, back in 2010, boys. Life was simple back then. Have you seen the trailer for the King Ron? It looked like an expansion for Fallout 76, right? The uh, the Fallout New Vegas TV show, Fallout uh, I mean TV show. Remind me of Fallout 76 stuff. War, war never changes. The stream never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, I would believe in a vault. set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. Hey, Sujik. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. How old was Monty Perry when he died? A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. 
Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. 54, Across damn. the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House. I still can't believe the, uh, the voice actor that got it for this game. Tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I heard they uh, approached uh, Mati Perry to voice uh, Benny because uh, he was a big fan of Fallout 3. I got into Fallout games Fallout, Fallout 3 as well. Whoa, easy there, easy. I wanna replay time to time just for the atmosphere. Days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the There is no is. way we don't get a Fallout New Vegas oh, remaster. Can you I'm gonna remaster this shit sooner or later. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I might play some Fallout 3 on stream again, just to mess around. To Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Yep, that's my face. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you. Senor Elok. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Amber just feels right for Fallout New Vegas. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. So we're doing Honest Hearts. Honest Hearts is the Jade Masters on DLC. I don't know how it scales on level one. That money uh, level one was uh, pretty easy uh, for the character, other than the environment, you know, being pain in the ass. Now 
This doesn't do anything. Some decent weapons in that one. I wonder, I wonder what level we can get there. This is this, I was playing WoW Classic Hardcore, and when Matthew Perry died, someone made a human named Matthew Perry and drowned him in the Stormy Canal. That's like a uh, classic uh, Blizzard player. We're going directly uh, to Honest Hearts. Directly to Honest Hearts with what we got here. Doesn't really matter what we get here, honestly. Uh, considering level one, I like, uh, the 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 best thing that uh, does anything uh, at the low level is endurance. It's endurance. Some strengths and carry stuff. More for the skills. Let's go with eight strength. I guess that explains how you're still alive. You're built solid as an oak. Solid as an oak. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Dinner. House. Demolish. Night. Shroud. Bandit. Stab. Light. Heavy. Mother. Human shield. Hmm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. What do you guys think about the, uh, the Fallout 3 intro into the, into, the, into the game? When you're growing up in the vault and then going that uh, uh, go test. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at I mean, this? kind of the builds How up the atmosphere, right? Okay. How about this one? It doesn't matter, doctor. Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Hmm.
This bitch is gonna be absolutely horrid in uh, this one. Follow Trinter is bad, but first step out of the vault with blinding light is so good. Yeah, the, the, the sounds in that game are excellent, uh, Sujik. There's a lot of this uh, in really memorable sounds. Uh, this is the level 1 uh, DLC. We're going uh, level 1 on his heart. So it's uh, like a challenge run. It's not like a regular run, you know. We did the dead money last time. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're all impossible from level one. I want, I want to try. Uh, so that's this is why we, what we're doing. Survival for healing guns, so we can actually do a little bit more damage. Uh, yeah, let's go with the, the metal weapons as well, why not? You get 8 strength. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. You didn't miss anything, genius. We're just making a character. Swipe skill point. There's no reason not to get Logan's loom hole for this uh, type of challenge. Because uh, we're not going to be getting levels, that many levels. Five skill points in every skill. Logan loophole and skilled. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Hey, me, uh, didn't you swear to never play this again? I swear a lot of things, Mir. Here, these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Okay, uh, bye-bye. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Art four. Jed, man. 
Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. We're going directly for Jed. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On I don't know if uh, Bloomfields was uh, to apply a for a job with Jed. Skills, I think he would be classified as a city slicker. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Fire city slicker feels feels weird, man. At the northern passage, if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson. So, level one, rushing to the passage. The only rule is start in level one. Last time we did uh, dead money from level one, and uh, it was interesting. If you are saying you're not a city slicker bloom cools, then go play five turns of Beastman campaign. I otherwise I don't believe you. Unless you send me Kazrak on turn five. I don't believe you. Hundred and endurance. If somebody attacks me, uh, I'm gonna use on them. Broad machete, sturdy, caravan kind of shorty. I'm trying to summon uh, all the energy I can for uh, that Fallout 4 uh, run uh, we're gonna do at some point. We're gonna have to be uh, the perfect minute man. Help every settlement and kill Mama Morphine. Have you heard uh, about that shit wizard? Hey, where the hell do you think you you're can going? actually uh, kill Mama limits. Morphine. Thanks for warning. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Get a bullet? No, no, no. Uh, you keep giving her drugs, and uh, she eventually overdoses and dies, and then there is a funeral. And I always used the speech there to save her from drugs, because I wanted to get that extra experience. I didn't even know you, uh, she could actually uh, eventually overdose and die. When I heard that, I was like, Elich, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing this whole time? We're gonna have Mama Morphin funeral every time. So you keep uh, uh, giving her drugs to use her sight, and eventually she ODs and dies. That's like the best uh, 
probably the best thing I heard that year when I heard about that. Mom Morphin is just a horde character. I always hate uh, this type of characters. With the vision stuff. This game does look like uh, uh, so empty and uh, low detail compared to uh, Fallout 4. And then you go for uh, Fallout, uh, Fallout uh, uh, 76, all of a sudden like 100, ton 100 times more details on the screen. I remember this one time uh, there was uh, some kind of weather going on in uh, Fallout 4 she visit. And I was outside in my power armor and I accidentally uh, fell through the... Uh, it was like a... I guess it was like a hole in the boat and I fell into the water, sank straight to the bottom. I had to leave my power armor there. Same like with that uh, Cthulhu quest, when you sink to the bottom, I had to leave a power armor down the bottom there as well. I had Cory with the with the weird quest. Haircut. What sort of Walter did you win? What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. Oh, oh my God! Smell that air! <laughs> You're feeling all right? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. Yeah. Are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, it used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder Gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> I bet Alex has done this exchange at least once. Oh, she reads that he know me all too well. At least once. Later. He usually just runs uh, into the uh, bunch of those scorpions and dunes. I did have uh, uh, several dreams over the years uh, playing uh, Fallout. It's not really about a, uh, like a game. It's more like a like a drill thing mixed with some uh, actors' characters. Gotta avoid this place now. Caution. I have to go around because I can't just run through the dead claws.
El Hydra. It's a nine mil, huh? Should be fine. Should be fine. We got a courier stash. Another nine mil. Those uh, crazy ghouls that has, uh, sometimes on the road ahead. Halfway there. Let it all end. Feels bad, man. Somebody put a comment there. Quit your whining. Those are uh, skill books. Uh, this uh, that was a tumblers today gives you permanently plus three lock picking. Every skill has uh, several of these uh, skill books in uh, Fallout New Vegas game. Sometimes I miss uh, some of the atmosphere and uh, some of the quests and characters from Fallout 3. Has anybody played Fallout 3 recently? Miss the radio from Fallout 3 the most. Three Dog and the uh, John President, <laughs> President Eden. Uh, we just carried a character Zimu Hopter and we are running towards uh, Honest Hearts. This is a level 1 DLC challenge. I think the uh, it's the Honest Hearts. One of, one of these uh, other three uh, is the hardest uh, uh, on level 1 in theory. I think the Dead Money might be the easiest one to do on level 1. Yeah. I did the Dead Money uh, first. Uh, we do, we're doing them in the order. In order they were released, that money was first. My favorite thing about the Fallout New Vegas is the uh, those atmospheric uh, soundtracks, like this one that plays right now. And they got all these soundtracks from follow from the old Fallout's, like Fallout 2.
That's uh, what's uh, missing from Fallout 4. I was like this type of atmosphere from the soundtracks. Some of the sound soundtracks still really sound like the, uh, oh the world died. God. Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? Hey, Baxter. Still here? Thank you. Thing than uh, follow three is uh, when you turn the radio, uh, the tree dog uh, makes a comment on your current uh, karma status. So, whatever is your karma status, uh, tree dog will make a comment about it. Like when I was uh, young, I thought it was like the, the coolest thing back then, 15 years ago. So, listen, so listen to me 15 years, years ago, that was so cool. So you would head uh, your karma here, and uh, this is pretty much we are currently a drifter, and uh, pre dog would make a comment about it. Sometimes we turn on the radio. I don't believe in karma. Have you played the uh, Fallout 3 should visit? Long time ago. I never really could go, get into these uh, post-apocalyptic uh, games. There was something uh, really depressing about them. Then uh, I uh, got into watching TV shows. Uh, I used to watch TV shows back on the TV, and but then we started watching them on PC, on PC later on, and uh, we started with like uh, Prison Break, uh, Heroes. Lost stuff like that, and uh, there was this one uh, TV show called uh, Jericho. Have you guys heard about Jericho? I watched Jericho. I haven't rewatched it ever since, and uh, ever since I re uh, watched Jericho, I got into fall games. I was, I was, uh, you might wanna, you might say obsessed with it. That's pretty much Elich when, uh, gets into stuff, gets obsessed. Creation, guys, that's true. I'm from Zubar. Let's 
Zubar Wales. Call this uh, thing that some they sometimes do. They take like a uh, one, like one of the US, US presidents, and uh, this is some kind of AI or something to uh, to create like uh, uh, fake. Uh, I guess like a fake character uh, audio. Avatar, yeah, Avatar. Recently, I saw uh, there's a there's a playthrough on YouTube of somebody uh, made a Joe Biden character in uh, in Skyrim. They call him uh, Joe Akin. Deep fake, is this called a deep fake? But it almost sounds like the real thing. Can I uh, generate this uh, this avatar that's voiced by uh, uh, you know a famous person like that, and they make it a, make a plate around it? And why am I mentioning this? Uh, they also do it on the in-game characters. Like, for example, uh, they made Lydia sound way better than the Bethesda made. If you guys seen that. You know how how uh, uh, basic Lydia voice is? It's like she sounds so uninteresting. It's like almost like they even the actors they didn't care. But they use the same uh, program thingy... Uh, and the Lydia sounds almost like a real person. What is this related? I'm having a lot of fun playing Fallout New Vegas as the NCR. I just can't get behind any other factions. This fucking guy. Do you have a problem, fat ass? The NCR are not only super boring, but they also are a terrible option for the Mojave. What nonsense are you spewing, Donald? The NCR are a strong government body that are the closest thing to restoring the United States to its former glory. The United States and the Fallout universe were the reason the world is destroyed in the first place. If you want a Fallout faction that resembles the United States government, look no further than the Enclave. Oh, come on. The NCR isn't nearly as terrible as the Enclave. I don't know about that. Ever hear of the massacre of Bitter Springs? If you played Fallout 2, you'd also learn more about their corruption. Do you know how fucking old I am, Smooth Skin? Of course I played Fallout 2. Who would you prefer, Barack? I go with Yes Man. I want to have complete control over the wasteland while also having everyone be free to do as they please. Every faction in New Vegas has its flaws. That's what makes them great. But the NCR is simply the least problematic. Plus, they look fucking sick. Being problematic is more fun. Legion all the way. You can't possibly think the Legion is the best option for the Mojave. Better than Yes Man, that's for sure. All the Courier's reign does is create more chaos and anarchy. Just what the Wasteland needs. At least Caesar's Legion has a strong economy and army to protect trade routes and keep order. Only the at the cost of enslaving it. people and treating women like dogs. Dogs deserve more respect. Hail Caesar. Jesus, George, I can't believe I shook your hand. If you want security and economy, then Mr. House is objectively the best option and is easily overall the best faction to side with. He is the smartest man in the Fallout universe and has brilliant plans to save humanity. The man is also a certified genius. I have to Sorry, Donald, but I'm not letting dictator Elon Musk have complete power over everyone. That's insane. House says himself he considers himself an autocrat, not a dictator. Besides, 
He makes it very evident that his main interest is saving humanity, not having power over them. He simply needs the power to control all of the variables he can to ensure a brighter future. He is much more reactionary than his demeanor suggests. He slaughters the kings if they don't help him with the NCR. And he eradicates the Brotherhood of Steel despite them posing no direct threat. Who knows what else he is capable of to get his way? Can we all just agree that the kings are awesome? Yes, oh, the kings yeah, are awesome. Right. Never. I don't know, I haven't seen this one before. I don't know, siding with the NCR uh, seems like the least interesting choice. Wish we could uh, side with the NC uh, with uh, with Enclave. Next Fallout game they make, they give better give us an option for the Enclave. Speaking of Enclave, I hope they put some uh, Enclave uh, in uh, the Fallout TV show. I'm gonna go pick up the, uh, the 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 armor here since we're close. Did I uh, miss the pass? No, oh, it's here. Having uh, the bad guys as the central character is the way to go. So bizarre the uh, the one grabs uh, left their shit here. We got combat arm on level one. The burden of knowledge. Once you know, you know. Can wipe my wipe out my memory. It sounds like, uh, you know, starting a new f uh, Skyrim run and not uh, doing alchemy and catch fish. Getting salmon roe, garlic, and... Uh, and uh, what's the third thing called? It was garlic, salmon roe, and... Uh, or uh, nor uh, Nordic barnacle. I would like it uh, as an option, Rotkin. I understand, you know, uh, why it is like this, but uh, as an option would be cool. This is why we need, uh, uh, you know, uh, some options like this in the games. I mean, these games are massive uh, uh, sandbox experience as well, that can be easily randomized all, all over the place. Mothers do wonders uh, uh, in, in a short time. Now imagine uh, what they can do. You know, it just bothered. Can you replace your memories? Oh, but how should we do that? I 
think uh, uh, NCR being part of uh, Fallout New Vegas is uh, is pretty good. I just wish like the Legion had uh, uh, as, as much uh, content as the NCR. Still, the NCR got the most uh, time with it. this uh, weird thing uh, in Fallout 4. The, you guys know that scientific robot, uh, the French uh, woman? What's, uh, what's her name? I think it was related to that one of those vaults. Curry? I heard that you could uh, you can actually build her a body. And I'm, I'm thinking like, what? How do you do that? And then I'm thinking, the, the uh, institute has the technology to uh, to build bodies, right? So it has to be the institute, right? But uh, why in the first place? How, do, how does it happen to get to that point? And I realize that I haven't done any of those uh, companion quests in uh, Fallout 4. You turn her into a synth banger. I only been instant once and I killed them all. I had a moment of uh, temporary insanity and I killed them all without talking to them. I don't even remember why. I remember some people being upset because we didn't uh, talk with people there and try to quest and shit. We just killed them all. Okay, we're here, boys. Northern Passage. You like that? You like that? You like that? here and we are level one the man the meat the legend Howdy. Ricky you looking for trouble bud I got plenty to spare 
So watch your ass around me. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, Doc. I'm feeling great. Fuck you very much, asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. I wonder if they ever go back to that uh, this original position. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Jed Muslim is never gonna be the same after that uh, Walking Dead game. Okay, let's do it. Zion, here we come. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? Going up uh, the long 15. Tell me about the Happy Tales current company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the Little Loop. Had a nice run little to loop. Salt Lake City too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan. And that went all to hell. So you guys are totally rich, right? We do all right. Don't you worry about us. Got enough in the kitty to pay you anyways. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Why can't you get to the Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Tell me about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan into Zion and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus. 20 caps per Zion. day, man? Plus That's robbery. If we reach new My life is worth more than that. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. 25 caps? You can't even, can't even buy a new cola 25 caps with this barter. Who is the Joshua Graham, and why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. I send this current head to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war, but we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Haven't been uh, through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. 
New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes? You've got plenty of red names here. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones hey, you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. White Legs. Tell me about the Raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on Kim's, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Warlords, how dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Mm-hmm. Shoot. That's all for now, but I'll be back. Yeah, reckon you will. How many? 75 pounds or less? You're carrying way too much shit. Sales for it. Let's talk with Stella. You looking to join this here caravan? Look a little wet behind the ears, you ask me. What does it mean, little wet behind the ears? Any Americans here know what that means? Um, uh, Google it otherwise. Wet behind the ears? Newbie. Rookie like a noob. I'm a veteran of a hundred battles. What are you doing here? Earning my keep, Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93? Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Was any of the Fallout games uh, from the past had a uh, new Reno in it? I do mention this thing uh, quite often. What was it like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Hollow 2 has new Reno. They do uh, connect the uh, one of the characters. I think it was the uh, Fall 2 character. Uh, his family is uh, literally uh, still alive uh, uh, in this period. Uh, that guy uh, that is uh, f uh, hiding from Mr. Bishop. Uh, 
That is like a descendant uh, from the uh, the follow two character. So what is this uh, thing she mentions uh, with uh, with a porn movie? Was there porn movies in uh, uh, Fallout 2? Ricky is just uh, using his uh, sausage uh, face. He's suspicious. Sus G? What's the what's the mode? Express your Kumer thoughts uh, for one second, man. I heard uh, stories, uh, Shir Wizard. I'm not sure if it was that uh, about Fallout 2 or another game. When uh, you play the female character. Tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh and I wish I played Fallout 2 in back in the day. Always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Wait, is a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Mm-hmm. Catch you another time, then. Yeah, what's it this time? Looks like you're traveling light. Uh, what do you say to carrying some of my stuff? Ricky travels light on purpose, asshole. If you're looking for a slave, ask someone else. This guy. You do anything around here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want? I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? And done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. That's my name. Imagine your name was uh, Ricky in the first place. Dead Eye Ricky. Storm of debt. When I come over like that, you know he's not fucking around. I don't know, his uh, shades uh, make him look pretty menacing. Dead Eye, huh? How did you get that name? Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. 
What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Did you, huh? Did you mean to say death claws? No, no. You heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. You're saying you, that you killed the Brotherhood of Steel Paladin? What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, mining my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun, and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. What a shot. Whatever. When you're me, a dead eye, shots like that ain't nothing special. It's just what I do. Do you have any other special skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. Is <laughs> uh is uh, addicted to camps. I see you're wearing a Pitbull and Volt suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? How'd you get a vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two -two. That's where I grew up. Where is Vault 22 located? I can't tell you that. I have a sworn vow of secrecy. Or something like that. To all the people I left behind. Uh, sorry didn't mean to be pushy. Yeah, so don't bring it up again. What do you use your pig boy for? Sorry, the shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm going to guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Did you notice I'm wearing a P-Boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Any chance you could show me some new ways to use my peep boy? That chance. Like I got time to bring you up to speed. Fuck that. I guess two peep boys is better than one anyway. Yeah. Too bad one of them is worn by a total fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Are you here to join me a while longer? Are we ready to get this show on the road? All right, let's go. I'm ready. Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Hey man, I'm cool. I got a big backpack and everything. That's exactly what I'm worried about. We got us some passes tighter than a virgin on her wedding night up there. Last thing I need is some greenhorn getting stuck on a rock, slowing the whole caravan down. Why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. I'm ready to go to Zion. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us.
The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites? They were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. And it loaded instantly. All right. Level up, ding! Confirm Bachelor, 10% more damage against male opponents. Let's actually go with a Swift Learner. People, there's not a lot of available. Weeks, but here we are, Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, oh my we've God. got the maps on our friend Pip Boy over there. Holy and shit. I'm lollygagging. Get hell? moving. And keep hey, an eye for tribal. Howdy. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? Fuck off, That's I'm busy. That's not a problem. Fuck off, I'm busy. 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 God damn it, ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves! I don't deserve this! My devil is My name is...
is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. They were loaded here. One seven two flamer fuel. Take care of, I guess, uh, for cooking and stuff. Launcher at sixty eight damage. It is much heavier, though. So it doesn't require any skill. Well, Ricky did have a 10 mil submachine gun. They die uh, like this every time here. It's only a hunting rifle. What kind of weapon are they gonna have? Ooh, look at this, they got a 45 out and submachine gun. They also have a 9mm crop. Varmint rifle must be a level thing. I wish Ricky was the sole survivor. It'd be cool if uh, he could uh, be your companion in this one, should we? seem to be a low level same as me I've never uh, been here on a uh, uh, low level them uh, recommending your level of wanting to do a uh, DLC if uh, they also scale. 9 mil on. Hoi, 
White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Civilized lands? What do you mean? I mean the lands beyond the valley. The place where the cities never fell. Where people don't live in tribes and forage just to survive. Joshua keeps saying it isn't paradise out there. But how can it not be? Compared to this? Sorry. I'm getting distracted. Joshua will want to know about you. Please, go to our camp on the Eastern Virgin. Tell him how you came to be here. Got a funny idea about uh, what uh, Mohammed is like, but I'll go with you and see uh, your boss. Good sis. Maybe while you're there, you can tell me about where you came from. Yeah. Paul Chalk have given you the well stacked cairns per perk. While he's in your party, reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as Ranger Stations, will reveal all nearby map markers and inspire a heightened sense state of awareness. Plus three perception. For three minutes, damn. What do you guys think uh, are these uh, triangles on his uh, chest and uh, and leg? Is this uh, how many people he killed? His HP in Zelda. I don't know how seriously you played a Zelda game. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Maze. It's not good stuff. Sick. We help walk uh, walk barefoot in this environment. We guys seen a uh, Yagua in a uh, followed uh, TV show tra uh, trailer. Was some kind of luck. That's one of the best parts, I think. Was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. When he grabbed that uh, uh, power armor guy. I thought the Yaog wife from the trailer was one of the best parts.
weapons do we gonna have? 130 bullets here on. Yagwai Cub. South. Nearly there. Trapped in them. But Joshua says the shows were serious about fighting white legs. There's a forty five. I got myself mixed feelings with the uh, Fallout 4. I do wanna try it one more time. Uh... Places from back when? Back in the day, it's like it's like ancient now. How old is uh, Fallout 4 these days? Eight years? Fallout 4 uh, came the same year as the Witcher 3. to use the river. Kind of crazy how that shows with a lot of games, uh, you know, the devs actually just cared more when they're making the game. So, should the visit, uh, you still here? Play uh, Starfield. So I think you said you did. You did. So what's wrong with it? Uh, uh, in your opinion? Where?
Where to start? Oh damn! How long? How how much did you play? A lot? Damn, a lot. Why do you want to get your money sword? I heard that uh, the reviews were so bad that they started uh, started defending uh, uh, defending them uh, the game uh, to the reviewers, like official response and stuff. So how how long ago did this game got released? Three months ago. It's three months now, right? Damn, it has uh, such a low rating. Star Starfield uh, Wesh. Hey, Chief. Good morning, sirs. Look, I know no one's going to believe me, but yesterday my mom was bringing in my chicken tenders and she called me a tall Giga Chad. I believe you. So imagine a game that is mostly Radiant Quest from Skyrim at the core. No. Like why? Why did they uh, don't put any effort into creating uh, some some dialogue options or uh, or quests and stuff? Why are you comparing uh, GTA 6 to Bethesda, man? Rockstar is literally on another planet compared to Bethesda. When I saw the trailer for uh, for uh, GTA 6, almost uh, installed GTA 5 to just uh, take a, take another look at it. I mean, first look at it, really. The Rockstar has been delivering, yeah, with 4, 5, the 6 also looks like uh, crazy as well. You know that other game we are playing, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? Literally uh, makes everybody else look bad. Yesterday we were like uh, in, a, in a theater inside a city, and there's actually a show. That goes on for several minutes. Look, Rockstar seems to be uh, uh, just going uh, uh, up and beyond. Well and beyond that uh, uh, when making a game. What can I tell you? Tell more about Josh Gram. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. What happened to him? 
You see his face, you'll understand. The only reason what I know of is when Caesar Legion and Takur Dam, is that where he fought? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? It has some alright faction quests, but most of your time is spent exploring identical points of interest. Talking about the Starfield. Mm -hmm. Small, have you ever seen Hoover Dam? It's a bigger than some of the, uh, these mountains. <laughs> really? That's... My gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. You'd be surprised what civilized tribes will fight over. <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. I have any more questions? Let's talk about something else. Ask away. Uh, tell me a little... Uh, who were those tribals who attacked me? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Wait, what? New Canaan was wiped out? How? That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force. Fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley. But Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. Where did they come from? That's the weird part. Normally the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. I want to know more about you. What can I tell you? Why are you called for check? Talk. Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places Talk. rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. What are all these, uh, those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Tell me more about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse, though why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided, we fought, we lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Wait, what about Kaiser? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. Joshua do for you if it wasn't for Joshua the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley he taught us how to hold our territory to protect ourselves he guided us away from Kaisar and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us what do you know about the new Canaanites little bit I met some of their missionaries a few times but I've never been to their city Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. Oh, 
What's with the shell casings in your club? Why is it so important that we fight the White Lakes? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts. Hey, they poach our hunting grounds. Do you remember anything uh, about Joshua from before he became your leader? Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Mm -hmm. Ask away. Back to your people's camp. You sure? It's easy to get lost out here without a guide. Mm -hmm. All right. Joshua won't be too happy, but all right. Actually, gave me some stuff. Angel Cave. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. I seek Joshua, yes. What? Show respect, Auslander. Joshua Graham, greatest war chief. I'm gonna get a drink, boys. Be back.
here. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting. But I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. About the I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group. But you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Came here with the new uh, Happy Trail Scaron Company to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. How about I go find dear Daniel and shake the information out of him? There are many reasons why that would be a bad idea. I will illuminate three. First, do not believe that because Daniel is a missionary, he is incapable of or unwilling to defend himself. Second, if you harm Daniel or any of the sorrows or dead horses, I will find you. Make no mistake. God willing, you will not leave this valley. Lastly, Waging war against what is this good people from? is bad for the soul. Why is there a church music this in the back? It may not seem important to you now, but it's the most important thing I've said. Is this one from Fault One? Fine. What do you need? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Mm, taboo. The Sorrows believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the white legs, of course, but the dead horses are spooked. Let's see what I can do. Thank you. Follows Chop can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Tourist trap. Quite started. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Pray God! What are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. 
We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Ha ha ha! Wait. You don't actually believe that, do you? I know it may be hard for you to accept or even to understand. In my heart, I believe that though I am a sinner, I have been saved. And I believe there is something beyond this rock, and this air, and this water around us. Something more that is waiting for us. I have been baptized twice. Once in water, once in flame. I will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit inside until I stand before my Lord for judgment. Mm. What did you say about a courier? Who are you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly. But he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Talking about Ulysses. Nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. How do you get this game not to crash constantly? You sacrifice uh, virgins and you pray. It's enough. What's going on with all these uh, tribes? Yeah, install oh and kept God. frame rate, and it's still cars from entering shit? and exiting buildings. What the hell? That is a uh, that is unusual, but unusual. Of all the uh, the older Bethesda games, uh, this one is the most stable. I have just an uh, install from uh, Steam uh, and I have kept the FPS and that's it. I even play with multiple screens and it's still stable. It could be uh, due to you having different hardware. You might have like an AMD uh, GPU, which uh, might uh, have more issues. the show around here I wouldn't say that 
I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is a spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. So we have all these tribes. A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Do they speak our uh, language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. And it's a uh, thing with the languages over time. Have anybody uh, seen the show 100? They had a interesting language they used there. It was like, what, uh, barely a hundred years uh, since uh, everything went to shit. I really, uh, I really enjoyed a lot of the 100. That show was something else. My favorite thing about it was uh, the bad shit always happened. The amount of bad shit happening. The start was uh, was really good, but I also enjoyed uh, all, all parts of it. Was a little bit strange towards the end, but uh, I mean they kept going. Gotta give it to them; they uh, stayed with it uh, to the uh, to the very end. But some of the uh, lore they created in the world and uh, how it connected uh, was uh, was uh, really good. It's the reason why I still uh, think about it sometimes. Then putting it, uh, the, basing uh, the uh, like the most of the TV show like around the teen drama setting uh, was uh, you know also another thing. Why haven't I seen any Soros in the valley? The Soros have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Why well, the White Legs attack my Karawan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Yeah. She was the, literally one of the main reasons why, uh, why I like it so much in the beginning. She is the only reason why I watch Fear the Walking Dead. The only reason. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. 
The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. It started like different, but then literally just became another version of Walking Dead, right? But this whole story, how the uh, uh, how it how the story develops, it's literally always the same. Must be uh, the writing, the uh, from what uh, what I'm making the show from. Feels like it's always the same shit. As its moments though. A new Canaan Slayer tribe. We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology, but we're still a tribe, a linked family of families. The Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down, when you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. I think uh, when they make the next Fallout game, at least uh, if, if, if they decide again with one start option, I think you should uh, start the game as a raider. Do some bad shit and then you can decide uh, how to proceed further. But I think uh, this type of games would really benefit from, uh, you know, multiple location start. Because, you know, the, the, these games get really uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of replay. And having always the same repetitive start uh, just uh, gets old. Of course. You guys look at the lost sh short side, yeah, yeah. Talking about the, the future games, Mad Lab. We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Let's see what he has. That much armor. We don't have the money to uh, 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 that much money either. The mods uh, for uh, this uh, this guns are pretty cheap. God be with you. God be with you. This gun requires 75 skill to uh, operate properly. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Can I ask you some personal questions? Right now I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Mm -hmm. God be with you. So what do you guys uh, think now after Starfield? Uh, 
What are you working on next, finally? Is it uh, finally time for uh, Elder Scrolls uh, 6? I did say they're gonna at least start first, right? Let's call 6, next and Fallout 5. Fallout 5, oh man. I'm dreading all of it. I don't think they can mess up Elder Scrolls uh, that much. They just use the, the familiar team, uh, the open worlds, uh, they seem to be having their shit together. That's it. Even if it just change, it changes like minimally between, they were still gonna play the shit. Fault series trailer did. I liked it, uh, even if it uh, uh, looks like uh, making a commercial for Fallout 76. That guy that uh, gonna play the ghoul, uh, he looks promising. Uh, the character, you can see him uh, before the war and after the war. Yeah, the entire studio doing nothing for uh, for 10 years with the Fallout series or uh, Elder Scrolls is kind of crazy. And they made a, a new universe that nobody even asked for. And they didn't even make a good job with it. And the, the companies have weird uh, ways of trying to expand these days. Except they didn't expand, they just literally stopped doing everything else to make this thing, right? I'm kinda glad nobody requested uh, Starfield, it uh, seems like a boring ass game.
what I little I've seen, it, uh, it's like uh, just a uh, worse Fallout 4. They only put, they haven't put much effort with Fallout 4. You know how the people defend Fallout 4. It's a good game, just not a good Fallout game. It's almost like they spend more time into marketing the game than actually uh, putting it, working on the game. Yeah, it's armor on. Weapons, huh? What this? Probably gonna need um, way more weapons for this shit. This is why I've been wanting to melee stuff. Guys are naked in their protection. I need to get up uh, some uh, metal weapon for this shit. Metal weapon. You can be too funny. Lost knuckles. I guess uh, I have my, my very good weapons. I agree with what people say, it's uh, it's a good game, but it's not a good fold game. The fold game is atrocious. Low effort. Put it into something else. Doesn't mean it's a, it's a, it's a bad game. Seems to be doing some damage. Mm -hmm. 
Terminator Resistance. What's Terminator Resistance? What are all these uh, tiny skeletons? Small skeletons? Compass Sensor Module. Eight repair. You should look at the damage on this guy. The green geckos do ridiculous damage. I don't know if can survive that. Buff out, baby! Guys, uh, don't scale like the rest of the enemies. Too poor for Heidi, it's for the best. that could happen with uh, going to the OCS uh, with the uh, level 1 uh, special uh, gear because some of these things uh, could be too much for the very hard
down is gonna break. Why are they moving so fast? for young geckos. Hey, Darren. I didn't like the uh, the legendary system of uh, Fallout 4. Everything is generic, and then just uh, let the RNG decide uh, what you get. Starting to think we'll not be able to complete this one like this. Maybe we ought to consider uh, getting one of the companions with us. And this one, uh, sometimes there's cattle that are slowly spawn on top of you. This one, uh, this DLC has enemies spawning on top of you. What a coincidence. Knuckles only. Was it all gecko? Jesus, what the fuck, this is what I'm talking about, literally, uh, 
literally spawn on top of you. No young gecko to me. Still kicking. I think uh, the Fallout 3 and the Fallout New Vegas suffered uh, a lot because of the consoles. <laughs> you couldn't make uh, uh, more stuff in the game due to the uh, limitation of, of our consoles all the time. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, consoles have SSDs, so it, uh, it does uh, make, make a difference. Bring to ammo with automatic weapon, what the hell? We're gonna, this is gonna be it for the for this stream. Save here. Nah, to be continued. Thanks for watching, boys. Good night.